I, I feel like this is as bright as a car headlamp. I don't know how bright a car headlamp gets, but this is very, very bright. Up until today, this is the headlamp I've always used at camp. It's a very inexpensive $10 headlamp I got at Walmart. In fact, it wasn't even $10. It actually came in a pack with two of these and a couple of flashlights and the batteries for $10. I mean, the batteries themselves are worth $10 to be really honest with you. So obviously it was not a great headlamp, but for my camping needs and sometimes I would use it to maybe, like I think one time I had to change a tire in the dark or something, so it did come in handy. I just left it in the car for that. But obviously it was not a great headlamp and I've always kind of been looking at better ones out there at the, on the market. Uh, sometimes I'd pop into my uh, local REI and I would check out the headlamps, but I just never have really pulled the trigger on it. Until recently, a company called Trustfire reached out to me and asked me to do a review on one of their headlamps. And I said yes, because it had a couple of features that I was really looking for in a headlamp. One, it's much, much brighter. You'll see in a minute, I'm gonna do a comparison between the two. But two, and this is what I really liked about this headlamp, is that it had a red light on it. And the red light allows me to see at a campsite where you don't always want a really super bright light, but you need some sort of light to see a little bit easier. Maybe it's in your tent, maybe it's um, wherever, but you just don't need a little uh, super bright light. You just need a little bit of light to see, just kind of navigate your way. So I waited till nightfall and I'm gonna do a comparison between this $10 headlamp, which again is not even $10. It was Ozark Trail, I think from Walmart. And this one right here is uh, made by Trustfire. It is the H6R headlamp. And we're gonna put them up against each other. We're gonna see how bright this one is in the pitch dark. And we're gonna see how bright this one is in the pitch dark. This is my brother's house and he's got a nice big backyard with some plants. And we're gonna see how far the cheap headlamp can see in the dark, uh, some of these trees in, that are back here and plants. And then we're gonna put it up against the H6R by Trustfire. We're gonna see how well that one holds up in the dark. All right, the first thing I wanna show you is the backyard during the day. So you kind of have an understanding of what you'll be kind of trying to see in the dark when I compare the two headlamps. Here is the house on the right and the rest of the backyard. There are some plants back here and we're gonna to try to see if we can't see the plants from one side of the yard to the next. This little tree right here is about three and a half to four feet away from me. And we're gonna see how well this little tree shows up in the dark with each headlamp. And as day turns to night, here we are still in the backyard. And if I start to move around, you can see it's pretty dark with the exception of a couple of street lamps. And my brother does have a couple of uh, lights in the backyard, like these yard lights that kind of light up at night. So you can see the backyard a little bit easier when you're walking through. Uh, he does have like a little walking path and things back here, but very, very dark. Uh, you can't see the, the ground below us or anything on camera very well. And it's very hard to see, obviously, if you're just walking around there without any kind of light. So the first light we're going to try out is the $10 uh, Walmart light. So let's go ahead and try that one out. And as you can see, it's not doing a very good job of lighting up the backyard at all. It's still very hard to see anything in front of me. You can't see any of the plants or anything. The only thing you can start to see is the ground a little bit in front of me. Uh, when I shine the light down at the ground here. Now, to be fair, this little $10 light is only 100 lumens, which is not very bright at all for a flashlight. And it runs off of AAA batteries. And the batteries are not brand new, but they're definitely not old. They obviously still work. Um, you can see that it's, it's working here. Here's this little uh, tree that we were looking at earlier in the daylight. And here I am clicking over the light from the brightest setting to the lowest setting, and then on the SOS setting. This headlamp only has three modes on it, a 100% brightness mode, and then I would say probably about 50%, maybe 60% brightness mode, and then it has this SOS mode. All right, let's go ahead and try the Trustfire headlamp now. The Trustfire headlamp has four modes a very very dim mode then it has a little bit brighter then a little bit brighter after that and then the full 1350 lumens on the absolute brightest mode it also has a red light mode which i'm going to demonstrate here in a minute but here we are in the backyard again super dark let's go ahead and try the 
trust fire on the absolute lowest mode so that's one click on the trust fire and even on the lowest setting it's already doing a better job than the ten dollar headlamp from walmart uh, you can see the ground much better you can't see very far in front of me but you could see where it's a little bit better there now i'm going to go ahead and click it one more time to get to the second uh setting here and you can already see the palm trees out across the yard you can see that little tree over by the hammock you can see the fence and this is only on the second setting <laughs> And so we're going to go ahead and click on the third setting. There is my brother's dog. Very easy to see. <laughs> he kind of looks like a statue. I don't know why he's just standing there. And this is the third setting. So three clicks in on the trust fire. And here is the absolute brightest setting. This is 1,350 lumens. <laughs> I, I feel like this is as bright as a car headlamp. I don't know how bright a car headlamp gets. But this is very, very bright. You can see the side of the house super well. Obviously, you can see the dog, you see all the plants, you can see everything. And then right back to the first setting. And then the second setting again. And there's one more time in the third setting. And then the brightest light available on the trust fire, the 1350 lumens setting. All right, now we're going to stand about three and a half to four feet away from this little tree. And I'm going to click on the trust fire's first setting. And you can see it very, very well, but here it is on the second setting, third setting, and of course the brightest setting. <laughs> Again, it just look, kind of looks like a car is parked pretty close to this tree. So maybe a very good indication of what it would truly be like to use this around a campsite. Now I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison on the flashlight that all of us carry with us, our cell phone flashlight. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the flashlight in the back of the normal cell phone here. And again, pretty bright. <laughs> Pro probably brighter than that $10 headlamp from Walmart. <laughs> but, um, you know, does an okay job in a pinch. Obviously, it's not designed to be used at a campsite all the time, the, the flashlight on the back of your phone. It's designed to, you know, be in emergency kind of situations. You dropped your keys on the ground in the dark, you need to pick them up or something. Um, so... Here it is, what it's like on a flashlight on the back of your phone and compared to the Trust Fire and then compared to the $10 Walmart headlamp. All right, let's go ahead and see a demonstration of the red light on the H6R. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the red light mode and then I'm gonna point it at the ground. And you know, a red light is only five lumens. It's not designed to light up a whole campsite very well. But that's, you know, that's kind of the purpose, right? You just need something for dim lit environments, maybe to read a book or, um, at a campsite late at night. Maybe you're uh, hanging around a campsite with other people and you need a little bit of light, but you don't want to, you know, shine the light right at somebody when you look at them because it is a headlamp after all. <laughs> if you look at somebody, it's going to shine right in their face. So the red light does help with that. So here it is just kind of looking down at my shoes. Overall, I do like this headlamp. It's obviously much, much brighter than my last one, which is great for me because I find myself sometimes camping in some extremely dark scenarios. And I like the idea of having something much, much brighter. My only real complaint with this headlamp is that it's pretty heavy and bulky for what it is. Uh, if you're an ultralight backpacker or someone looking to shed a little bit of weight off of their pack, this is probably not the right headlamp for you. I have not done a ton of research on other headlamps out there, so I don't know how small, compact, and light they really get, but this one's definitely on the heavier side. It, however, does look like it'll last a very long time on the 3000 milliamp battery that's included, so I really don't think you would have to worry about it dying on you in the middle of nowhere, and you maybe don't have a way to recharge it or anything. But other than that, it's actually a very nice headlamp, and I do enjoy using it. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. If you're interested in the Trustfire H6R headlamp, or really any other product that Trustfire makes, then check out the link below, and use the code on the screen to get 20% off your order. Thanks for escaping normal life with me.